Alexa, turn on TV. First of all, I want to thank a username called David Quail. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Anyway, um, thank you so much. It says in Vectors app, go to settings preference and change just the language to English USA and refresh the app. Then you will be able to see the Alexa symbol on the app sign into Amazon. Follow the instructions on Vector screen. Then you will be able to use Alexa in the UK and it works. And I'm in UK and Alexa is enabled on my Vector. So um, we're going to show you how that works. So here it goes. All right. So if you go to um, preferences and you scroll down, you'll see three different languages. I had it on UK English because Vector understand me met well on my stupid accent. So I'm going to change it to US English and then I'm going to scroll back. Um, and then if you go to back to the settings, you will see the Amazon Alexa. So what you need to do is sign in with Amazon Alexa, which I'm going to do now. All right. So as I signed in, it will give me a passcode of DMXYT. So I'm going to type that in. So here it goes. Um, all right, so this is the boring part. Capital D, capital E, M, X, Y, T. So if I press continue, it's all done. So registration is all complete. So you're ready to use Alexa. So here it goes. Alexa, how are you? So voila, there you have it. That's how you uh, use uh, Amazon Alexa in UK soil or if you're in Australia as well. All you need to do is change the language settings to US um, English and that's what all Anki meant. So technically you could actually, um, even though you're living in, not in US or Canada, I, I guess there's going to be a bit of a language barrier in some way or well, you can still technically use Amazon Alexa like here and then you can use your smart home device no so, so I'm going to show you on my next video how to use Vector as a central source of smart home control system so thank you very much for watching this video this is LJP all the best bye bye